Hey everyone, if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome and please subscribe so you get first access to whenever I post a video. So today you may notice I actually don't have on any makeup. That's because this is the second day I had LASIK eye surgery yesterday. That's L-A-S-E-K, LASIK. That's not a misspelling. Uh, a lot of people keep thinking that I keep misspelling the word laser, LASIK, whatever. It's actually a different form of correcting myopia, which is far-sightedness. I don't have very great vision to see f things really far away, um, but I can see things that are about this close to my face, like this close. Sirens and blue flashing lights In the 30s I'm pushing 95 just trying to get to you in time. So today is a day that I get LASIK with an EK. It's a different refractive laser eye surgery. It's supposed to be better for you in the long run. Say for example, I was to get hit in the face with a baseball or something, it's not gonna crinkle my eye like if you were to have LASIK done. And with me today is Mr. Husband. Last day I'll have to wear glasses! Glasses, no more glasses. Peace out, optical wear. You're so weird. <laughs> so we just got to the Cognum stop, and afterwards I'm gonna have superhuman eye powers. So then I'll get to see what his face really looks like. Not sure, I like it. Reading the consent forms now is a little nerve-wracking. Just reading about the different things that can happen to you during surgery, like maybe you might go blind. So after the surgery, you must do UV protection only outside, indoors, if it's rainy or foggy, you need to worry, but you need to wear sunglasses. After the surgery, you have to wear this at night for one week during sleep for protection. I need to wear goggles. You already do wear goggles. <laughs> Okay, so I just finished with my surgery and I went into the recovery room and uh, so I'm heading home now and I can see but things are kind of blurry. Um, so these next couple of days are probably going to be a little bit painful but I can see kind of. So I started to get super lightheaded feeling like I was going to black out so we got off the train. So you just finished surgery and you said that you were okay to take the subway, right? Yeah. Then what happened when we were on the subway? I almost passed out. It's still pretty major surgery. Which is why we should have taken a taxi, right? Uh, I'm fine. We can take the next train. If I wasn't there for you to hold on to, would you have went down harder? I would have fallen harder. Yes. Still think we shouldn't have taken a taxi? I think it's fine. I'm a strong person. You're so stubborn. But anyway, so I had it yesterday so I can still kind of see um, but things are a little bit blurry. I guess it's not really well known, but it's something that they do here in Korea pretty regularly, kind of like going and seeing the dentist. So it's kind of crazy that you can literally walk in and if you're a great candidate, the next day you can go and get the surgery done. But anyways, I got it done yesterday. I feel great. Um, there's just minimal pain. It kind of feels like maybe a little bit of sand grains in my eyes, and then every once in a while it's a shooting pain. But it's it lasts for half a second, and then it's, if I as long as I close my eyes, it, the pain subsides, goes away, and then I have a series of drops. So they gave me these are only two of the four drops that I'm using right now. Regular eye drops. I don't know if you can see that, if you can read Korean, but I can't. These are just some artificial tears to whenever the eyes feel dry. And then I also got, um, not really sure what it's called, but they took a vial of my blood and they created this serum that is it's a mixture of my blood and some artificial tears. So anyways, it's supposed to help with pain and, you know, dry eyes on top of everything else that I'm taking. So I'm taking two other forms of antibiotics and anti-inflammatories to help with the eyes. But anyways, it kind of makes me feel like a vampire. Can you see it? I can't tell. My 
eyes are getting a little blurry. Anyways, you can still see where I got my blood taken from me and I'm leaving the sticker on because it's super cute. It's almost instant how nice it feels. It kind of cools because you have to keep it cold. So if you're considering LASIK right now, I, to put it in perspective, my contacts were at a negative six in both eyes and my glasses I want to say were like a negative seven, negative seven and a half. So really, really blind. So another thing I wasn't expecting is to wear these goggles. So I have to wear these goggles for a week after surgery. Um, the only thing that concerns me about wearing these things is I have an, an imprint that stays on my face for a while, a few hours after I'm done wearing it. Kind of makes me feel like a nerdy P. Diddy though from like 97. But yeah, so this is gonna be me when I sleep for a week. So I'm sure Chris is real excited to look at my face. But what is awesome is this morning when I woke up, my immediate reaction is always to search for my glasses as realizing I could see, but it's just out of habit. So day one uh, is almost done and I feel good. The only downside is, is that with LASIK eye surgery, they said that it is a delayed pain by two or three days. So today I could feel awesome, but I will let you know how I feel in the next 48 to 72 hours. So I'm on my second day of post-op LASIK treatment and my eye vision is still pretty blurry. I definitely can't see very clear. I think this is because uh, my eyes keep getting really, really dry. So I have been using my eye drops like crazy. The other two drops that they gave me, one is for anti-inflammatories and then the other is an antibiotic. This one is the antibiotic. Not sure if you can read that. This one might be the anti-inflammatory. That, I got like four bottles of this one. So uh, I'm gonna be using it for quite a while. Vitamin C packets. So I just took one for the first time today. I kind of forgot about them, but they're just these little edible powder packages that you can kind of put in your purse on the go, uh, vitamin C, I guess. It's to help keep you healthy. I know that you're supposed to keep somewhat of a good diet. It's kind of like when you're just letting your body heal, right? You really wanna just take care of yourself. I'm usually pretty good about that, but when you're just confined to being home for most of the time, you start to just wanna eat junk food. So I'm trying to not make myself eat a ton of really bad candy. And I may have had one glass of wine last night, but I made sure to keep my eyes hydrated. So day two is looking pretty good. I'm just hoping within the next week my vision clears up a bit more because it's still really, really dry. So everything has a glow around it, like everything. Another thing I do wanna highlight is the fact that I didn't wear my goggles last night. So I felt a little bit bad, but when I woke up the next morning after the first night of wearing them, I had this indentation on my face for like nine hours. And it concerned me because the other surgery I have. So if you follow along with my Instagram or blog, you'll know that I had a blepharoplasty surgery. So I didn't wanna mess up the other surgery by wearing these goggles every night. But so maybe tonight I might try a different process of just wearing the eye mask, so I'll let you know how that goes. You know, subconsciously just start to rub my eyes in the middle of the night because I'm wearing these protective contact lenses and you don't want to knock those out. So as they did say that if I accidentally knock it out, then I need to come in and make sure I keep my eyes closed, but I need to come in and get it fixed. So I'm trying to not let that happen. Everything is good so far, so we're gonna keep documenting this process. Bionic eyes, bionic eyes. All right, so it's day three today, post-op, and this morning when I woke up, it was probably the worst vision that I've had since I got the surgery. Everything was just so blurry. It took a solid couple of hours before I even felt like I could um, get about my day without really struggling needing to squint and I'm trying to not do that either because wrinkles there's a longer recovery time I my eyes feel really lazy today just really really incredibly tired so as soon as I woke up I just I just wanted to keep my eyes closed I don't think it's because of the sensitivity to light uh, I've drawn all the shades so everything is down 
but there's still light that comes through, but I think it's just more of my eyes being really tired. So I actually went to bed a little bit earlier than normal last night and tried to get a full eight hours of sleep, and I tried sleeping with the goggles on last night. Um, throughout the night, I kept waking up either because my face was getting really really hot so I would you know kind of adjust it or I would temporarily put it on my forehead and then I would wake up again in the middle of the night and then I would put it back onto my eyes but it just became so incredibly uncomfortable and it was just it just didn't work before I went to sleep I tried using one of those little airline you know eye patches that you can go to sleep but it was too much pressure on my eyes even though it was like hardly any pressure so I'm not really sure what to do as far as when I go to sleep, how to prevent myself from rubbing my eyes. I tried doing our taxes yesterday and that was, that took forever. Trying to read taxes and read rules when your eyes are not working and when your brain doesn't want to work at the same time. But needless to say, I finished it this morning. So you're welcome, IRS. It's a, a really long process, up to six months before my eyes get to really be adjusted. Um, but then after a month, it's about a, apparently 80%. There's not a lot of information about getting LASIK out there, especially in America. Um, I think it's just more preferable maybe here in Korea uh, because PRK, almost doesn't exist here. It's almost like LASIK takes in place of PRK. And I'm really glad that I took today off from work because I probably couldn't have even driven myself to work this morning. Hopefully by Friday, which would be my one week anniversary, I will have close to superhuman superpowers. Day three was the absolute worst for my eyes. <laughs> 